Hey, what do you say, Rocky? You want to review the uh, new zapper? Huh? Huh? What are you doing? You see me out, right? <coughs> yeah, there you go. We want to zap. We want to review the zapper. That's a yes, right? Yeah, I just got another Holder Clark zapper. This is made by Power Zapper, and let me shut it off because uh, it's actually very simple to use. This is the um, CC2. CC stands for constant current. So even if your battery's starting to go dead, it still puts out the correct amount of current up until the battery light goes on. And unlike a lot of other Holder Clark style zappers, um, this will have various modes. Now he makes better ones than this. These are um, this is still a good mid mid grade one. This is called the Constant Current Two. It makes the Easy Uzi Three and the My Many Zappers in One. Many Zappers in One. But the convenience of, you can see how small this is. You see the size of my hand? And it takes one battery. And uh, made in the USA, as you can see right there. Now the other thing is I like about this, it has a green wire and a red wire. Because you want to know which side is going to be the positive pulses. And this is going to be your ground, basically. There's really no negative pulses on it. It's only positive. It's 100% positive offset. So a lot of times, even when you buy a frequency generator, they may not go to 100% positive offset. That's one thing that Holder Clark stated, that you want to be 100% positive offset because positive offset shorts out positively charged microbes, according to her, and it will act like a charging system for your uh, white blood cells and make them into super white blood cells, according to Holder Clark. But anyway, this is the Power Zapper made in the USA, as you can see. Uh, one battery set up and uh, the other thing is these uh, wires are actually soldered to the inside of the copper handhelds now this is a type of copper that won't really it's a pure grade copper that won't like turn a uh, green color or anything copper being the best conductor of electricity and I have these wrapped with um, uh, paper towels with um, tap water but the, there's no these are actually like soldered right to the inside of them so there's no alligator clip that could slide off which is a good feature but basically even this mid-grade zapper has six modes and uh, you'll have mode one here basically from the 2.2 kilohertz to 2.7 kilohertz or 2000 hertz to 2700 hertz all 100 percent positive offset and then you have a bunch of um, frequencies in other words it'll run these through in each mode like if you want to do mode one it'll take you about an hour and it runs them through in about seven minutes each so it's all figured out for you and a Clark mode is the 30,000 Hertz or 30 kilohertz range and you can run through those mode here's the Croft Terminator mode which is the 15.2 uh, Hertz the Don Croft her frequency and um, here's a good here's another good one because 728 787 800 and 880 are very good typical frequencies that are uh, very popular amongst people that attempt to use pad type rifle machines and it runs all of them and it runs them automatically the thing is this is also a microprocessor control type zapper so it's pretty damn accurate and then you have the 2.5 kilohertz mode which is see in other words instead of just running 2.5 kilohertz it runs all these different frequencies and actually 2489 is a, is a good antiviral frequency too specifically allegedly allegedly and um, the thing is when you're running different frequencies on top of running positive offset you're you're hammering microbes in two different ways you're hitting their possible moral oscillatory rate plus you're using a positive offset the unique thing is it's all automatic it's very portable you can carry it with you and then it has the MX mode the MX mode it's very very simple to operate basically it tells you like when you turn it on one flash is mode one two flashes in mode two uh, three flashes in mode three four flashes in mode four and then one long flash followed by one quick flash is five one long flash followed by two quick flashes is mode six now actually um, mode four you know in my opinion my humble opinion may be one of your better modes because it really is hitting um, most of the very important rife frequencies and actually I have another zapper that has the 465 made by bioelectric so I pretty much cover everything 
And um, so anyway, when you turn it on, you'll see there's the on switch on. It goes on. And you can see it's flashing one time. That's mode one. If you want to switch to mode, there's a little button on the top here. Just click it once. And now it's going into double flash. That's mode two. And then click it again. And you can see the light is actually mode three. And then mode three would be the 30,000 hertz. It's, click, it's doing three flashes. Mode four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four flashes. So that's pretty simple. And um, the good thing is, too, like if you could set this up, uh, I talked about on the other video, I'll link up to it with the three point positive, um, um, the four point system with three points positive. Now this makes it easy because you can actually um, use actually even one foot plate, put both your foot feet on it, and you just hold these handhelds. That's all you would have to do. You'd actually just have to take a jumper cable from here to one foot plate, as I showed on another video, and I, I can link up to that. And it's very simple. But the point of this whole thing is, look at the size of this. This is small. You can carry this with you. The handhelds fit perfectly in your hand. You know, they're, they're just the right size. You could probably, you know, sometimes what I do is I actually put them under my arms. And uh, I could be working on stuff while it's under my arms. And then I switch from one arm to the other under my arm. And this way, it's actually making very good conductivity that way because your body is seems to be wrapped around there very well. So um, this is something else. I'm going to probably be using this zapper more than any of them. And I may get another one from him later on um, when he comes out with some other new stuff. And I'll keep you updated on it. But uh, it does have a lot of features that I found in other zappers. The other thing is, like I said, you know, a lot of times when you're buying a big frequency machine, it may not be running 100% positive offset. This is, all these frequencies are 100% positive offset. So even if you are not hitting the exact mortal oscillatory rate of a microbe, um, you will be using a positive offset, which will be shorting out the microbe according to Holder Clark's theory. She, she actually only used a, you know, a few uh, frequencies, 1,000, 2,500, and 30,000. So here you have a whole host of frequencies. And the frequency does make a difference especially the more well you know this is not something approved by the FDA or the medical establishment but just becoming more and more a body of evidence from end users that are like finding out that you know this helps now I'm going to tell you one thing the real drawback of the zapper is say for instance you know uh, para zapper does have on his website you can look and you see he has a um, a video of zapping um, parasites in a jar or bacteria or whatever microbes in a jar and the water looks like a greenish funky color and after you zap it for an hour or two or something or whatever he has it on there 30 minutes I forgot what it was exactly the water is clear because or mostly clear because all the stuff that was in there that was growing in there is now zapped now you would think that could possibly do that in the body and it probably does but I think I'm gonna just say this one caveat there's one one little problem with using a pad type Rife machines or whatever if you want to call this Rife or John Crane which is Rife's assistant um, is that when I hold this in my hands and I'm making the electrical conductivity the main part of the electricity is actually going through the blood so if there's areas where the pathogens hide which may not be in a bloodstream or is highly electrically um, resistant to electricity the electrical pulses will go around it but does it help in my opinion yes it does help a great deal especially if you use it a lot and the whole thing is if you have something this small and this portable you can use it a lot you can use it a lot now the other thing is I don't know how true you know I know there's different things said about a hold of Clark some people love her some people hate her but um, you know from what I'm studying about um, with the way the body is actually little batteries, like we actually have little negatively charged batteries in our body, and um, they're about a quarter volt negatively charged. The positive offset is actually working like an electronic electron donor. I am pretty much grasping the theory why Holder Clark says that. So in other words, if you have weak white blood cells, 
Her theory is that you're actually going to get this electron donor from this 100% positive offset and charge the batteries up and make them into super white blood cells. Those are her words, not my words. But I think those parts of her, the main parts of her theories are very, very good. I think there's a couple things she said that weren't right, but it's a mixed bag. But let's not throw the whole thing out because if you're not a fan of Holden Clark, let's not throw the whole deal out the freaking window because... Uh, you know, it's a very controversial subject because it seems like people get on one side or the other like a religion. But anyway, um, I like the idea behind this because, you know, you could do all these frequencies with a frequency generator. But then again, you know, I could be walking around with these things and actually I'm going to set them up with some heel plates in another video where we could set up heel plates and actually have them in your shoes. And you could swap around the wires different ways and... Um, have one side be the positive offset and the other side be the positive offset and all that kind of stuff. And um, the thing is, the more you're doing this during the day, if you're actually dedicating a couple hours or so from doing this um, every once in a while, um, actually I zap probably more than 12 hours a day and my energy levels are fantastic. Um, I'm, well, let me put it to you this way. As an end user, I'm a big, big proponent of this stuff. I've notice merit and I do like the whole idea behind the functionality of this device and uh, the price is very good um, I think with the handhelds only um, it was like 159 or something it's it's not much money at all it's not much money and you can get the, the, the my zapper which is more money but it pretty much covers every frequency out there if you want to do something like that but anyway this does cover a lot and uh, I just want to present this and just make some comments about it because uh, I'll probably be using this as one of my main zappers from now on.